Well, hello, beautiful people. How can the world have missed all of these red flags of Meghan Markle's disturbing behavior? The royal family sure as hell missed these red flags, either intentionally, unintentionally, hoping that these red flags would go away, that this disturbing behavior would be curved. Now, keep this in mind. If the royal family with MI5 and MI6 missed these red flags, this kind of disturbing behavior of Meghan Markle, how can her own father not have seen it? We're all very quick to judge and, and blame, but we forget that when we love somebody, we see these people through the love lens, what I call. Mr. Markle was a hardworking single father because Doria bailed out. She dumped completely Meghan Markle on Mr. Markle's lap when she was about five or six years old. Prior to that, Mr. Markle was half time um, in charge of Meghan Markle while working almost 80 hours a week while having two other teenager uh, kids there. So how can these red flags have been missed? Was it intentional again? Out of malice? Is it nurture versus nature? Because let's not forget that Mr. Markle was a single father with two other children. And whereas those two other children were happy with what Mr. Markle gave them, Meghan Markle, on the other hand, was never pleased. She was never satisfied. It was never enough. Should that have been the first red flag? And is that was that red flag missed? Could Meghan Markle, Rachel Meghan Markle, have been avoided? Let's let's see where, let's try and see where and where these behaviors were missed. Why? To this day, Meghan Markle is getting away with so much in spite of what we see. Because let's not forget that us are very arrogant, looking from the outside, pointing fingers at Mr. Markle or this or that. When we have all been guilty of doing that, we don't like celebrities that we like being criticized. I get a lot of hate here when I criticize Charles <laughs> or anybody that you guys may like. I do. Because nobody wants to hear that. So are we also responsible for that? Because let's not forget that my ex account was only restored when Elon Musk bought Twitter. Because prior to that, my account had been canceled, terminated, suspended permanently because I was deemed a racist for criticizing Rachel Meghan Markle when everybody else was praising her. So let's let's discuss this a little bit. Rachel Meghan Markle was born to a very loving father and a somewhat aloof mother. A mother who bailed out the minute she could and she had secured uh, child support and alimony. I wonder if Mr. Markle is still paying her alimony. Hmm. But yes, so Meghan Markle was born to a very loving environment with two <laughs> on her mother's side she had a lot of cousins a lot of uncles on her mother's side of the family and on her father's side of the family everybody was loving towards her as a toddler i don't know if she threw tantrums but we know why i'm uh, why i'm showing this picture because when i watched that nickelodeon i remember when i first started uh when i found out that harry was dating rachel mega markle i immediately went looking for her and this is one of the commercials that popped out and even I, back then, found that this there was something off about Meghan Markle. And I pointed it out, and I was trashed by the entire Twitter, back then Twitter account. There is something off about this person. There was something not natural about this person. Okay? Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, Mr. Markle was a loving father working 80 hours a week to the point that he would get Samantha sometimes to go pick his daughter, Meghan Markle, and bring her to the set where he was working because he didn't have time to go home. That's how much of a working father he was. He was a single working father when Doria took off. 
And as I said, he had two other teenagers to look after. So it's very important to know that this is a pivotal moment in Meghan Markle's life because she keeps bringing it up over and over and over. In spite of the fact that she learned a few years later, like four or five years later, that Gloria Allred, Hillary Clinton, and the company never replied to her. She learned that it was her father who wrote those letters to her, pretending to be these three, uh, the company and these two people. She also learned that Mr. Markle was the one who contacted executives at Nickelodeon in order to create a commercial so his little girl would not feel slighted. She would feel important because Mr. Markle knew that these three people never answered the letters. And he couldn't let he couldn't stand the fact that Meghan Markle did not feel important. I don't think that's I think that's a lot very extreme. I wouldn't have done it. But he probably did because there was something about Rachel Meghan Markle that made him do that. Because as I said also at the beginning of this video, whereas Tom and Samantha were happy with what Mr. Markle was able to give him. And we've heard Samantha and Tom say that Mr. Markle was generous to his three children. He treated them equally. For Meghan Markle, it was never enough. For Meghan Markle, she was not pleased. For Meghan Markle, she felt entitled to more. Mr. Markle was never a match for the deviousness and the psychopathy of Meghan Markle. We're seeing nature versus nurture because we see that Samantha and Tom Markle also were in that same household, but they turned out to be different people. Meghan Markle, it seems from a very young age, felt entitled to more. Let her father to think that he was not good enough forcing i guess subconsciously mr markle to go even to to go the extra mile for her to the point that he did this mega markle upon discovering that it was her father who wrote the letter the three letters answer the answer the three letters that it wasn't gloria Allred, nor hillary clinton nor the company and that it was her father who did this she still didn't correct the narrative she continued this narrative to this day Many people have told me that this was a pivotal moment on Meghan Markle's young life, where in her mind, she became grandiose because she felt important and she hasn't wanted to let go of that feeling of how important she felt. We also know that it was not her idea. It was her father's idea. And it was a class project of which she was part. But in her mind, I wonder if this is the moment where in spite of the fact that she, because she knew all of that, she knew that it was not her idea. She knew that, you know, there were other people involved, but in her mind, it was all about her. I wonder if this is the moment that reinforced that behavior. I truly don't believe that Mr. Markle acted upon malice. He just wanted to please Meghan Markle, to please Rachel. He didn't want his little girl to feel slighted, but I'm sorry, even I, and you know, back then when I saw this commercial, I did comment on that on Twitter when it was Twitter and I was trash for it. I said, there's something really off about this girl because as I said, we don't like our celebrities criticized. We looked at them through our love tinted glasses and it's only when we're falling out of love with the celebrities and, and that everybody starts actually what was quirky and adorable behavior, then we start seeing them as horrible flags and horrible behavior. We see them as those red flags of disturbing behavior like we see now with Rachel Meghan Markle. So this is a huge red flag. The fact that Mr. Markle felt compelled to do this and I truly believe that there had been other behaviors because I've we've had Thomas here where he said that he went, I think, to a funeral. Somebody and Rachel was there. Rachel's Meghan Markle. She was there. And Thomas Markle Jr. made a comment and Meghan Markle gave him the evil eye. And Mr. Markle did not talk to him for two weeks almost. But this is Meghan Markle. This is how, how much of a power she had. As I said, 
Mr. Marco was no match for the likes of Rachel Mega Markle for her psychopathy. And this is where I truly believe that Mega Markle was born this way. And unfortunately, what were kind acts and gestures that were thanked by others for her, those were not good enough. A huge red flag for me would be when Meghan Markle attended this birthday party. The little girl, you know, celebrating her birthday had that tiara on her head. And Meghan Markle came and physically removed the tiara from the little girl's head, put it on herself, and demanded she be called the princess. Was she admonished? No. Was she reprimanded? Apparently not. In instead, she got pictures taken of her. And I, there's even a video of her walking around asking people to call her princess. How can anybody, if I were, if my little girl was having a birthday and another little girl came into, was invited and came into that birthday party and physically removed the tiara from my little girl who's celebrating her birthday and took it away, put it on her head and paraded her around, I would have grabbed, I would have grabbed that little girl because she's a bully, I would have taken the tiara away. I would have made her apologize. And if she didn't, I would have kicked her out of, out of the birthday party. But instead, nothing happened. Instead, it was celebrated. Hence, reinforcing that horrible behavior. That's another red flag that was completely ignored. Of this kind of psychopathy of this woman. She was a young child back then. And nobody at that birthday party thought of correcting that behavior. Now, let's not forget Trevor Angleson. Huge red flags here. The way she got rid of him. The way she got rid of him. And the entire world, once we found out, the entire world, once they found out about it, nobody criticized her. And people found out. Back then, I mean, her best friend, Nanaki Pretty, decided, hey, you know, that's really nasty behavior. And when criticized, what did Meghan Markle do? She completely cut off her friend from childhood, that they've been besties since childhood. For Meghan Markle, the fact that she's able to drop people like that should have been a huge red flag because that goes beyond sociopathy. We're in the realm of psychopathy now. She's a psycho. Only psychotic people, psychotic people do not can drop people. That is a sign that they have, that they cannot form any lasting bonds or bonds whatsoever. You are not able to drop people that you love that way. If you have feelings, if you're a normal human being, but Meghan Markle is capable of doing that. This is the UN speech, another pivotal moment in Meghan Markle's life, where she goes and praises her father, claiming that little girls needed more men like her father when growing up. And then again, she repeats the story of the soap, of the Nickelodeon ad, how she single-handedly changed the entire marketing campaign worldwide with a single letter. Spite of the fact that by then, she knew that that was not the case. She knew about it. And again, we go back to what I said earlier, whether that moment that Mr. Markle inadvertently created basically or reinforced what she already thought of herself, that she was that special, that it's, it's, it was such a pivotal moment in her life that she, in spite of the fact that she knew the truth, she doesn't want to let go of that feeling of importance. We can see Meghan Markle when she's on stage alone. She, she's living in this state of fantasy, delusional, that is actually now quite dangerous. But here she is on stage perpetuating that lie that she knows to be a lie. And you know what's incredibly interesting? Because Mr. Markle know that he lied and wrote those letters. He unwillingly became an accomplice to her and therefore reluctant to call her out in public. Now, this picture is very 
important to me because it shows that the queen knew. I really do believe that everybody knew by then the kind of individual that, Meg that, that they were dealing with, but they still let it slide. They still let it slide. Let's not forget that by then, the, the monarchy has MI5 and MI6. They knew of all of Meghan Markle's behavior. Yet, they allowed it to continue. Because once you allowed one type of behavior to go on and grow without correcting it, you become an accomplice. And therefore, you don't want to expose it in public because people are, are going to call you up. Why didn't you? Why didn't you stop this? Why didn't you do this? Because right now we're pointing fingers at everybody and excusing. And we are, people are excusing Meghan Markle because they want to blame Mr. Markle. They want to blame the monarchy. Why not blame the real person? Why not explore her? Because Meghan Markle is not a stupid woman. She's not a smart one either, but she's cunning, but she's not a dumb. She's not, um, she's not legally um, incompetent. She knows what she's doing. And when I say she knows what she's doing is she's aware of her actions and consequences. She thinks she's smart because that's her true nature. And this is what I truly believe, guys, that no matter what you tell her, this woman will still not see it because in her mind, she's the center of everybody's universe and everybody should feel grateful she's around them. If she bullies you or harasses you or, or yeah, or abuses you, she feels you deserve it because she knows better and you shouldn't have done that to her. So the queen knew. People keep expecting for Mega Mar that Mega Markle will change. Why? She's lived almost, let's say consciously, 36 years of her life, over 42, being aware that her behavior, her actions, have been rewarded. They have never had any negative consequences. And she's always had others bail her out because that's the behavior she's learned. So we wonder, what, it, what are the red flags that were missed with Meghan Markle? Her sense of grandiosity, her entitlement, the fact that nothing anybody around her ever did was good enough. The manipulation that this girl learned from a very young age. She was manipulative from a very young age. She was entitled from a very young age. The fact that she has no attachments nor feelings towards anybody from a very young age denotes a psychopath. It does. Can a psychopath be cured? I don't think so, because this is something that's inside of them. Everybody missed these red flags. Some people are still doing it. Some people are saying, oh, no, it's, you know, anybody who criticizes Meghan Markle is terrible. It's a racist. It's this, it's that. And unfortunately, whereas for a normal person, you will read a room and say, hey, shit, I should adjust my behavior. For Meghan Markle, it's not. Because as I said at the beginning of this video, whereas Tom Markle Jr. and Samantha were grateful that their father gave him a hundred bucks to go out, Meghan Markle, when she got 100 bucks, it was like, only 100? Making her father feel that he was not enough, that what he was doing was not enough. Here we're gonna see the traits of malignant narcissism, guys, okay? It's being extremely arrogant and self-centered, disregarding the feelings and needs of other people, manipulating, using or ex exploiting others for personal gain or pleasure, having an extreme need of, for power, acts of revenge against those who criticize them, fantasizing about ways to obtain more power or dominate over others, lacking conscience, regret or remorse for their actions, being cruel and taking pleasure in the pain of others, high levels of aggression towards other people, paranoia or mistrust of others. If you think about this, it actually applies to Harry too. It really does. They use, abuse and discard people. They're obsessed with power. Everything is personal for them. They hold grudges and take revenge. We've seen this because we still, I mean, we have Harry doing spare book and Meghan Markle's doing another book. They take pleasure from the suffering of others. We saw that. We saw that because they went ahead with, with the Oprah's interview and, and given all those interviews 
knowing that the queen and Prince Philip were dying, knowing how much it would hurt their all their families. Nothing is ever their fault. Zero accountability. And the fact that there are no consequences do not help. They are ruthless in their pursuit of what they want. They don't have a conscience. They have many enemies. No one will see their insecurities. They say that they're extremely insecure. You know, it's it's we're pretty much reading everything about Meghan Markle here, guys. All of these signs were missed. And unfortunately, with loving actions by her father, they were reinforced and enhanced with the actions of Trevor Engelson, who also aggrandized Meghan Markle even further by, you know, he was her queen. Meghan Markle is my goddess. Meghan Markle is this. I mean, because Meghan Markle knows how to pick victims. She knows how to spot vulnerabilities on people and knows who she can screw around with or not. This is why she has hatred towards William and Catherine, because she knows that they know her, that they can see her coming a mile away. This is why there will always be her mortal enemies. Anybody who can spot and read her and treat her like a nobody or like the kind of person she is become instantly her enemies. If you don't aggrandize Meghan Markle, if you do, if you don't make her feel grandiose, if you don't treat her as the queen she thinks she is, this is why she refers to the queen, the late queen as the grandmother, because she did not want to give the queen because that would make the queen be above her. This is why she always belittled and denigrated the queens and make sure that the queen as rank was never mentioned in her mouth. She always said Harry's grandmother to belittle her, to make her small, because she has always to be on top. So what chance did Mr. Markle have a working single father of three children, working 80 hours a week, an absent mother, who's also a narcissist and very shady at best? How could he have spotted all these, all these things when we are just learning about it? And the royal family and the public, they're all guilty of that. Because another huge red flag was when Meghan Markle only invited her mother to her wedding. That was a huge red flag that everybody excused, chose to look the other way, or for fear of being criticized like I was, didn't say anything about it. I said that that was the weirdest thing to have Doria, only one relative at her wedding and having all these celebrities that they never met. In my account, my Twitter account was suspended. So people didn't speak out out of fear, out of, you know, we love her so much, she's so popular, we don't dare talk or criticize her because we're, we're going to run the same fate that these other people who criticize her, you know, uh, run, you know, they, they have, they suffer. Or because people don't want to see it. We still have a bunch of Sussex Squad who don't want to see it. They still support Meghan Markle. And the fact that she still manages to get fake awards only reinforced that psychotic behavior. How will she ever be made to understand that what she's doing is wrong if there are zero consequences for it? Criticism to her means that you don't get her that you are in the wrong. Why? Because that's how she is to begin with. And everybody's actions around her have only reinforced that behavior. The fact that she's able to discard people, her own father, her best friend since childhood, her ex-husband, everybody around her, her uncles, uh, the raglan side of the family. And the only, the only, how she was able to discard Ashley, that idiot who's still pining for Meghan Markle. How people miss those disturbing signs, the disturbing life of this woman. Because this is another thing. She was leading a double life. We know that since 2006, she was hanging around Soho, going to the Soho events. And they lead these separate lives that they don't, other people around them don't know about. Because Mr. Markle thought that Meghan Markle was part of the Soho crowd when she started hanging with the Suits staff or the Suits cast. None of the Suits cast was part of the Soho crowd. Meghan was. So it is quite disturbing that Meghan Markle, a, a 
a person like Meghan Markle is in a position of influence, not of power, of influence because of who she married. And she's allowed to use and abuse. And we publicly see her behavior. And she's still not being called out. And that is very dangerous because her behavior will only escalate. These kind of people only escalate actions. because, And the more desperate they get, the worse their actions become. And I wonder if they have kids, even if Meghan Markle didn't give birth to them, are they at risk? What kind of a role model are these two poor children who have been completely isolated from everybody else are going to grow up with? Especially when they will have to face the real world eventually. So who do you think should be held accountable for Megan Mar for Megan Rachel Megan Markle? Was the royal family complicit? And Mr. Markle complicit? The entire world complicit when everybody celebrated her nasty, her bullying actions. Because even to this day, the royal family are refusing to hold her accountable for the bullying she did to all the staff in the UK. We had a judge allowing her to commit perjury and walk away free. Who is responsible? How did people miss all these disturbing signs? And do you think it's she was born this way? And then everything around her, that she took it as reinforcement to her behavior, even if, if, even if it was a loving gesture? Please, I look forward to listening to your thoughts, beautiful people.